I'm just going to stick close to the roots of my music, you know. Um, I have Danny with me, and Kyla's going to do a little guest spot. We're very fortunate to have the services of Berlin Bob, who's the uh, beautiful drummer with Rich Harper, and um, a guitarist who lives now in, in, in Thailand. Um, and I'm going to be doing a mixture of blues, jazz and gospel, really, just in the way I always have done. Define for us how what you define blues as. Um, if people, some people think it's sort of kind of soulful, sad, but it's not, is it? It's a it's a, a blanket term which covers a very wide variety of music and emotion. Um, basically, it's the well, it's been called the only original art form of the 20th century, and I think that says it all. It covers everything. Of course, there's a certain underlying melancholy but it can be very upbeat and western swing it can be the mournful solo blues of somebody like john lee hooker it can be the fantastic big band sound of ray charles and bb king and it can be the wonderful um ancient but classic sound of people like bessie smith right through to mahalia jackson aretha franklin and kyla brock <laughs> I mean, have you taught Kyla, your daughter, everything that you've you've learned, you've played? No, I've left a few tricks in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> but she she's learned she's learned her own. She did start with me, like all my children did when they were young, and um, she stuck with it. And she's a real credit to herself and uh, and to English and American music, I think. I heard Kyla, you st Kyla, you started at three years old with your dad. I think that was the first time I took to the stage, but actually I was 12 when I started doing gigs regularly with him. So, um, yeah, I've served quite a long apprenticeship now. Yeah. Was it difficult to split up and then form your own? It she was... She stole my band. <laughs> she didn't split up, she just elbowed me out. <laughs> Not exactly, but I did poach all these best musicians. <laughs> no, it was, it was hard in a way to sort of carve my own niche and you know stop being known as just Victor Brox's daughter you know try and make a name for myself but but you know I've stuck at it and it's it's working it's good now I'm known as Kyla Brox's father <laughs> <laughs> um, now you're, you're appearing on Saturday yeah. uh, it's a little earlier yeah what 9.30 but what are you going to be doing in your, in your session I'm going to be doing a really nice acoustic set actually with Danny on acoustic guitar, so it's just going to be the two of us, and um, we're going to do a mixture of our own material, original material, and, and some classics as well. So um, yeah, it should be good fun. And what, what do you think of the Thai bands are also appearing on stage with you both nights? Well, last year they were fantastic. I was I was quite surprised actually at the standard, very high standard. Um, there are some wonderful Thai musicians, absolutely mm. stunningly good. I was amazed, frankly, and uh, and very very pleased. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter what language, music is a world language, yeah? Well, they sang very well in English, <laughs> or American English, you know, I mean, it was, that was what was... I'm used to hearing French bands, because I live in France, who so really don't have a very, very much of an uphill struggle singing in, in English. There doesn't seem to be that problem. There doesn't seem to be that problem in Thailand. Yeah. They sound wonderful. Right. <laughs> and it's nice that you're raising money for charity, two educational ones, yeah. called Phuket has been good to us, and Phuket International Women's Club. Is it good uh, to inspire the kids as well, youngsters and ties? Oh, I think so, because music's so enriching, you know, it really does enrich people's lives. So it's great to be able to do something like this, a blues festival, and hopefully get local people in, in, into it and enjoying it. I've always been a big supporter of UNICEF, which is the United Nations Children's Organization. And um, having been a school teacher for over 20 years, of course, uh, I have a special penchant for teaching children and introducing children at an early age to to my music and to the music which they themselves will inherit and, and play, hopefully. That's why I started with what was known as my child slavery band, which <laughs> featured both Danny and Kyla when they were 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. well, have a great concert. Play us out now with a sample, if you can, of um, some blues with Danny here. Uh, what are you going to call it? Um, well, actually, we're going to do a song that was originally done by the grandmother of the blues, Bessie Smith, and it's called Backwater Blues. Take it away. When it rains five days and the sky turns black at night. When it rains five days and the sky turns black as 
night. The trouble taking place in the loneliness at night. No, I can't move no more. No, I can't move no more. There ain't no place for a boy and girl.